Good morning, Cowboy fans. The Cowboys now have their 53-man roster, and more importantly, they have the practice squad. So, I, first of all, I, I went 10 hours yesterday drafting <laughs> my Madden team. So during that draft, people were coming. I did the whole thing live, and during the live draft, people were coming through and they were telling me everything that was happening during the day during that because it was a day when you know uh, news was just dropping so people were coming by and we were staying on top of everything so it was awesome I was doing my draft if you want to know my 53 uh, I'll be live tonight I'm gonna play tonight and I'll go over my team and everybody else's tonight but um, we were finding out all the things about the Cedric Cedric Thornton cut um, that was something that I su suspected uh, all along uh, because of um, b because of his age and you know his production and all that kind of stuff, and then also Kellen Moore and that, those two were the only two drama, the only two pieces of drama. I personally wanted to see who would make the the practice squad more than who uh, makes the 53 man roster. Like for instance, Rico last year was on the practice squad. You know, and then we get to keep Rico, we grow something huge this year. And then this brings a point. If anybody knows anything about Rico's situation, please let me know. Because I'm so confused on what's going on with Rico. Are we going to have him? Is he going to be on IR? Or whatever is going to happen to Rico. So please let me know. But we can have our potential, a potential uh, good player. You know what I'm saying? On that, on that, on that practice squad. So the practice squad, um, Blake Jarwin tight end. Uh, Lewis Neal. Now I was really worried about Lewis Neal, and because uh, I, I that's one of my favorite guys that 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 came out of you know not being drafted and came in and worked hard, and you know it show he shows all those characteristics that that I just absolutely love. So maybe you know if he has the talent to meet to 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 go higher, I, I'm I'm looking for great things from Lewis Neal. I'm happy. I, I was when he wasn't protected at first. I was scared. Because there's tape out on Lewis Neal. There's people that have seen him and what not, what not. But he passed waiver. Smart move by the Cowboys. And um, and uh, he he didn't get Darius Jackson. <laughs> All right, we got Brian Brown. Another one I told you about. Also, he he impressed me every time I was out there in training camp. You always saw him. Eighteen, number eighteen, number eighteen, number eighteen. And in games, he impressed me. So I really like Brian Brown, and I I, I wonder what uh what he's going to bring for us. Jamel Showers, I think he's just our mascot. I mean, we, we need to have Jamel Showers with us. We need to have Jamel Showers in our, in our, in our organization. I, I'm just glad Jamel Showers, I mean, wherever he does, he flashes plays. I don't know if he can play, but wherever he plays, he flashes. Play. You know who he is? He's the modern-day Woody Danzler. You know, we couldn't, we couldn't find a, a position for Woody. That's what he is. Um, defensive ta tackle Richard, Richard Ash, who got a lot of time in preseason. Um, guard Kadeem Edwards. Uh, wide receiver Lance Lenore, who we were all frowning on at first because of that fumble in, 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 um, in against the Rams. But he caught that touchdown, uh, and he, he's, he's done some good stuff. So let's look at him a little more. And more importantly, I think he's on here just in case something happens to our return game. We have a returner stashed on our on our practice squad if something happens to switch switch if his uh if his hamstring gets pulled or if anything happens or whatever we got somebody on our practice squad we can throw out there to get some get some returns uh my other favorite guy i was so happy when i saw that dan skipper dan skipper with the nasty attitude again a guy with all the intangibles the frame He's got the, the massive frame. He's got the attitude. He's nasty out there or whatnot. So keeping Dan Skipper was awesome. And this, this is good because these guys actually performed during training camp. And they did, they did well out there. And I like to see. I'm glad to see they're, they're still with the Cowboys. Uh, guard Nate Thieker. And the last one who the boss uh, – uttered his name and I got to say I got to say hey to him and not really talk talk to him but Marquez White you know when you have Jerry Jones saying your name you know when you come out that means you're doing good stuff um, we didn't really get to see it because he, he got hurt early so we really didn't get to, see, get to see what he can do so I can't wait to see you know how 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 he evolves and what's going on um, with all that now we did pick up two um, two Packers uh, the uh, Brian Price. Brian Price is, I guess, the the replacement for Thornton. He's a six. He's six foot three. Six foot three. Three hundred twenty pounds. Run stuffer, which I absolutely love. Take that, Washington. <laughs> Take that, Redskins. So uh, we got a run stuffer that hopefully he can get out on the field and make some plays. You know, he 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 was stashed on Green Bay's uh, practice squad last year. So we were able to get him and J. Ron Elliott. Uh, and you know, we've we've been messing around with J. Ron, J. Ron Elliott and Madden for a minute. He's a solid player. I think my commissioner to our league, he he made him 
into a stud one year in 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 Madden. So he's got intangibles. I I, I hope I hope the best for J. Rome. But I think those guys are just just um just guys that they help depth. And then the main one, the, the Benny Benamikri. I just think he is um there just in just until the rookies get ready. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's there because we know what he is right now. I've seen him for 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 a minute now. So uh. We know what Benny is. We don't know what Jordan Lewis is. We don't know what you know Cheeto uh, Uzie. Uh, you know what I'm saying. We don't know what Xavier Woods is. Uh, all those guys. So we need to know more about the information on those. And then if we have negative information, then we need to go get a real player. That's why I wasn't all into the uh, the TJ, TJ Ward thing. Uh, did you JJ Wilcox got shipped? <laughs> J.J. Wilcox got shipped already. But I wasn't into the uh, the T.J. Ward thing because I want to know what we have with the Xavier Woods before we go spend money like that and before we take take snaps away from him. I want to know that Xavier Woods isn't ready for the snaps before we go and spend a whole lot of money on another player to play that position just because we're not that happy with Heath. Let Heath hold it down until Xavier Woods is ready and see what Xavier Woods has. And if he's the guy, then we don't have to worry about safety for a minute. We just need to coach up Byron Jones and and uh and Xavier. All right, guys. Uh, again, I'll be on playing Madden tonight. I have a monster team. Oh, and uh, on Saturday, you know, we do a slow draft until the big draft on Sunday, so we get to pl- pick our players slowly. So on slow on on Saturday, I got to pick my quarterback. And he took a picture with me right there. I'll let you. <laughs>